everybody and welcome back to Roller Coast Tycoon. So today we are on park number two and we are doing dynamic yeah, dynamite June, it's not dynamic. And our aim is to get 650 guests in our park by end of October year three with a park rating of at least 600. That should be pretty easy, shouldn't it? So let's zoom out and see what we've got. So it's a nice little park, a little bit hilly. It already has a roller coaster, which is pretty good. Let's make sure that they are charging the right price. No, they're not. So let's get that up to six pounds, so that can be a nice little money maker for us while we're doing the rest of the park. So I think at this beginning bit, I might have. Ooh, almost tempting actually to get a little transport ride in but we probably don't have the money for that oh yes and that's also speed of our research so we get rides nice and fast so we've got a nice little area probably we can make a nice little kids area for the start and that's probably where you want the kids rides to be so we'll buy all of these and then, you know, put them in. Right, so, um, and then we also, we'll get the little cars, build this, just build the one that's already in here. And rotate it so it goes like that way. Oh, we can't construct it up there. Why not? Ah, we can construct it here though. Like that. So that's what we'll do. A nice entrance and an exit. Okay. So let's get our paths in. There we go. So that's the exit path on this one. Um, oh. So let's get the queue path done too. And that could just join up like that. So let's get that open. Oh, wait. And then we will get some paths on the rest of this. We'll do the queue paths first. Oh, wait. Hang on, I can't see. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see better. Excuse me, I want this little bit of path here. Ooh. This one. There we go, we got it. rid of this tree and that can go like that. Let's change the view a little bit so we can see better. And then we want another probably just like that and that'll be enough. There. So this is going to be our little kids area. Which is all lovely and got a nice bit of merry round music going. So to add to this, oh yes, you know what else I want to make sure we're not doing is rain improvements and scenery for now. We can do them later. So we'll build a couple of stalls along this way. Because why not? drinks machine and a drink this one. There you go. So that's going to be the where the food stalls are. And we just want some toilets and they can go here. There. So also get a little bit of scenery in. Well, some benches and stuff over this way. And then a few little, bin, a little bins and stuff. So our area is nicely done for now. 
Um, oh yes, we need some staff, don't we? So we'll hire two handymen for now and a mechanic. And that should keep us going to begin with. And there you go. So there is a little nice kiddie section and we can add to it when we get some more rides along this section and possibly up here a little bit. So by this roller coaster we're gonna have like the thrill section we'll say. So we'll get like a little bit of path down this way. Let's see what thrill rides we've got then. Okay, so we've only got the twist so far, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to tuck this in here. That can be the entrance. We'll have the exit there. And that can just tuck in like that. And then a nice little exit path there. And then we'll get this open as well. I'm pretty sure we don't need to change the prices of anything we've got yet. So we won't do. Uh, but we will also get some food stalls. Around this way too. Because we're going to need some. It's quite a walk between the areas, so it makes sense to have our little stalls over this way too. And then we'll get some toilets, and they can just tuck in there. There. Okay, and then also we'll get some benches. Zoom in for the benches, so I can actually kind of see what we're doing. And then we'll get some litter bench bins around the place too. There. So that should keep the area a little bit tidier. And it's looking pretty nice. Okay, so the next thing I think we can build is probably the log flume. Or can we build a roller coaster? So that's one we've already got, so it's a wooden one. Um, how much is that? That's a lot of money. How much is this one going to be if we get it in? I don't know, I can't see. I need to zoom out a little bit to make sure we can fit it in. So it'll go here. What about if we did it this way? 10,000. We might be able to get that in if we get a loan. It won't go up at the top of the hill, but it can go here. So let's take a little bit of a loan then. Let's see how much we can take. Ah, oh, we haven't got quite enough, but we're ne we are nearly there. So with a bit of time, we should be able to make a little bit of oh, this and go up to two pound. Excellent. What's our next research project? A thrill ride. Good. What we could do with a few extra thrill rides to you know, draw more people to this area of the park. So once we've got about 11,000 we will build that roller coaster. And that should be a real good draw to the park. This area is looking pretty good. The merry-go-round is getting a lot of people. The slide, not so many. But that's getting, this is actually nice and quiet too. Sometimes this one can get packed and I don't get quite get why. But hopefully with this coaster most people will be coming over this way and riding on the coaster. That's what I'm hoping for. And we should be up to 10,000 pretty soon. Well, that's the hope anyway.
A little interesting little bit of music there. Okay, so we are getting close to having enough. We're not making that much a week, which is a bit of a shame. Um, how's the research going? Still only designing it. I wish you could speed up the time a little bit, but I don't think you can. Which is a shame, but hey, these things happen. This area is definitely getting nice and busy. I like it. Let's go have a little walk over this way. There's a few people feeling sick sitting on our benches. Which is fair enough. Yeah, this ride takes a while to get to full capacity, really. Because it does have the three trains. So, it doesn't always run full. It looks like it waits quite regularly, actually, so it does run full. Okay. There's a few people really keen right now to get on it. Yeah, definitely a few people keen. Oh, the next card is coming in soon. And it's in! And that one's just gone. So that is pretty good. It's definitely filling up actually. Okay, so we're going to build this wooden coaster. We're going to have wood chip, and wood chip is going to go this way. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, it can go. I might have it all the way back there on these hills, so it actually uses these hills quite nicely. Because that would be probably a handy use of the hills. We'll just wait now until we have the money, which shouldn't be too long. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Ooh, new ride. Oh, we've got go-karts. Hmm. You might be able to fit some go-karts in in that space. But I do want to get a log flume too, so... It's tricky. Deciding what we want more, I guess. Probably the log flume. Log flume tends to be a very popular ride with people. Oh, we nearly have the money. Come on. Another load or two on the um, roller coaster and we'll be there. Money-wise... Oh, there you go. Coaster's getting filled up, I guess. Ah, oh, so close. By the time we built this one, got all the paths done, we'll have another ride researched, and that'd be great. It means we've got a few things to put in, but we won't have any money. Ah, oh, we're so close. Come on, one more coaster. Right, full, and we're there. Oh no, the bills went out. Come on. We are so close, so very close. Oh. Apparently we can't build it there. Oh, hang on, it's dead cheap there. Build it there then. Okay. So we want to put in the entrance. And the exit. We'll start with the exit path first, I think. So we probably want to take that down as soon as we can. That's a nice 
straight path. And then we want to do this one next. And then this one will go down. And connect like that. Let's get this one testing. So it has the three carts. So again, this one should be able to take a whole load of people. Get a good bit of excitement in this park. Right, so we'll let that test. And then let's see how much the go-karts are. Probably too much for us right now. Yeah, so that's 900 and the mega track is how much? Can't go on the hill, which is a shame. About 2,000. We'll probably just get the figure of 8. But it can't go on a hill. So that needs to go in a nice flat area. We might bring up that bit of land right there. Alright, so the first one is coming in. So we should be able to get the test results very soon okay so how much can I open it for there you go five pound ride excellent a good bit of a money maker this will be there you go five pound ride open so we get um, so hopefully we'll get the log flume. How big is the log flume going to be? Oh, that's going to fit nicely. Like there. And we should also be able to get in the go-karts over this way. We can buy some land. So we can buy all of this behind here. and We'll get a path that goes up and around, probably from over this way. Oh yeah, it's going a nice queue already over here. There we go. The first row load of people are going on that coaster. So that should definitely bring up our guest numbers is having a um two coasters. What is being researched? Information kiosk, that's fine. It's always a good one for it to research. The queue is getting nice. Oh, it sent those people back. That is always slightly annoying at times. But hey, these things happen, don't they? So, there we go. And this one is also starting to build up a little bit of a queue as well. Nothing drastic, just a little bit of a queue. And then that should actually make quite a big queue because a lot of these people are going to get off and go back on because it's what they do. <laughs> Excellent. So now, ooh, Mess Value Park in the country. Wonderful. Oh, we can get the information kiosk. But I do want to get the go-karts first. So I'm just going to get the figure of eight. And find a little home for it. I kind of want it to go like this. Hmm. I might flatten some of that land actually. Uh, terrain tools. Let's zoom in so I can see what we're doing.
go. Just a little bit more. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. There we go. That looks okay from this angle. And that's the angle we're playing at, so. Ooh, right, so we want the figure of eight track. Zoom out a little bit. Um, no, I do probably want it facing this way. We also need to get rid of those cactuses, don't we? So, into scenery. Let's get rid of a few of these. Because they're in our way. There we go. Got rid of them. Now we should be able to get in our figure of eight track. Yeah. And then there's still space there for another ride. Entrance. Exit. And there should be still space in here as well for the log flume should be awesome. That's still the wrong one. I wanted paths. Okay. There we go. That's going to go like that. And then, oh no. Damn it. I'll have to fix that shortly. Oh, hang on, we're going to have to get rid of this one. Then... Fix this. There we go. And then we put this in. There. So there's the go-karts. They're going to go... Very shortly. Oh, look at all those people eager to get on the go-karts. Okay, well that's going to be a waiting test results for a little bit. So, let's get ourselves our information source then. Um, I'm going to get one here. Like that. And then we'll get another one over this way. Somewhere, here. There we go. Information. We we'll probably will, once we get the log flume in, we'll sort out another section of stalls and everything. Okay, so this should now be tested. Nope. We must have to wait for everybody to be finished. Okay. So what is the score? Four pound a ride. Excellent. Anyway, this is where we're going to leave this episode of Rollercoaster Tycoon. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please like this video. If you would like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.